Meanwhile, parts of Western Europe are seeing protests over the Israel-Hamas war. This past weekend saw major rallies in Paris against anti-Semitism and in London calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. Ian Jin reports. In Paris on Sunday, more than 100,000 people marched the streets against anti-Semitism. The protest was called for by French lawmakers in the wake of a recent surge in anti-Semitic incidents in France since the October 7th Hamas attack on Israel. French Senate Speaker Gerard Larcher highlighted that the march signifies a total fight against anti-Semitism, which is the opposite of the values of the French Republic. Prime Minister Elizabeth Bourne and former Presidents Francois Hollande and Nicolas Sarkozy were among those heading the march. But also present at the march were right-wing politicians, including the presidential candidate for the National Rally Party, Marine Le Pen. President Emmanuel Macron did not attend the march on Sunday, but on the eve of the march said a France where Jewish citizens are afraid is not France. Macron also condemned the confusion surrounding the rally and said instead of a united republic against anti-Semitism, the event was being exploited by some politicians for their own ends. Meanwhile, in London, hundreds of thousands of people marched on Saturday calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. London's Metropolitan Police put the number of protesters at over 300,000, while organizers say it could also have been one of the largest protests in British political history, suggesting some 800,000 people to have taken part in the march. The police reported no issues with the protest as the people marched peacefully through the city. There were, however, a few incidents of violence from far-right counter-protesters who were arrested. Saturday's march in London coincided with Armistice Day. More countries across Europe have also seen such marches. In Brussels on Saturday, about 21,000 people took part in a pro-Palestinian rally, while an estimated 10,000 people marched in the German capital in solidarity with the Palestinian people on Sunday. Ian Din, Arirang News.